Hey guys, um, Daja Hao. Bonjour et bienvenue to Frenchy Teaches Cocktails. This is episode 4 of our classic cocktail series and today we're going to shake things up and we're going to make a daiquiri. A daiquiri is a simple rum sour, but it's sharp, tart and delightfully refreshing and it's a perfect opportunity to learn about shaking. So here guys, let me introduce you to my classic cocktail shaker. This is called a Boston shaker or a two-part shaker. It is made of a small tin and a big tin. In some instances, you might see bartender using a tin on glass, using one of those pine glass. However, uh, the issue with them is that they are much heavier and when you get a hundred cocktails to shake in a night, it adds up. On top of that, the thermal mass it has might lead to over dilution. It, it necessitates more ice to chill the uh, pint itself rather than chilling the cocktail. Uh, lastly, they may break if you drop the shaker and believe me, I've seen a few bartenders dropping shakers at the end of a long night. So. so that's why I prefer to go tin on tin. They are much lighter, they are more reliable and they are virtually indestructible. I did manage to break a couple over the years. The process is simple. You build your cocktails into the small tin, add your ice into the small tin. You're going to use a big tin to create a seal. You want to seal at an angle. You don't want to be perfectly straight. This doesn't work. You want to make sure you have an angle and give it a good whack. Don't hesitate to hit it hard enough. You do not want to have a leaky tin and you want to have a good seal. As you are shaking it, the temperature inside your shaker is going to drop drastically. This will create a vacuum inside the shaker and it will reinforce your seal. To break the seal, you just want to whack it on the side of the big tin. However, sometimes it's a bit harder and you got to use your belly to lock the big tin position and just at an angle press, use your thumb and unlock the small tin. With our Boston shaker, you're gonna have to use a Oson strainer. Those are made of two parts, the holder and the coil. You can separate them to wash it more easily. These are designed to fit on top of your tin and allows you to strain into the glass. They will retain most of the big pieces inside the shaker. However, an ocean awesome strainer is not very fine. It will let uh, shards of ice and little pieces uh, of solid go through. So they are often used in conjunction with a fine mesh strainer this way. Why do we shake a sour? Why do we shake a cocktail with citrus? Why not simply, as our previous uh, drink, build it into a yarai, stir it to dilution, pour it into a glass? Well, the answer lies into the proteins in the citrus. Every single fruit has trace amount of proteins. Citrus have about 0.4% proteins in it and proteins are long chains of amino acid and as you are shaking it into your cocktail those long chain of amino acid are going to entangle themselves and they're going to be able to trap little air bubbles inside the liquid this emulsification this aeration has an impact on both texture and flavor this is the reason why a freshly shaken cocktail is so wonderful it has a unique liveliness a citrus pop it has a zing it has that frappe effect into the drink in my old bar a trainee bartender would spend weeks practicing the shake before they were allowed to make a cocktail. For a proper emulsification, you need a powerful shake. I'm not gonna tell you which way you should be shaking your cocktail. Everyone has a different physiology and you should find your own shake. Two little details though. Do not shake towards your guest. Your teens will have condensation and you might splash uh, water onto your guest. Or if you have a leak, 
never shake towards your guest. You should shake alongside the bar towards your coworker. And lastly, a powerful shake is function of both speed and amplitude. So you have to go fast and you have to go long. If you go too short, you'll have no power. You won't have proper emulsification. So when you practice, make sure you both have amplitude and speed. And the drink we would use to test our newbies was a daiquiri. A daiquiri is a simple drink. There is nothing special about it. However, when properly shaken, it's wonderful. It's sharp, tart, and super refreshing. A daiquiri originates from Cuba, sometimes at the beginning of the 20th century, right after or during the Spanish-American War. A daiquiri is a simple drink. It is made with white rum. Here I'm using Angostura Reserva. It's a rum that is aged three years and then charcoal filtered to remove the color. Then we're gonna have some lime juice that is freshly squeezed. And finally, some uh, simple syrup. This is just one to one white sugar, hot water, stir it until it's entirely dissolved. It's not traditionally in the recipe of a daiquiri, but because it's a cocktail and cocktails require bitters, I'm gonna throw in one dash of orange bitters. Lastly, and very importantly, here I have another dasher, and this one is full of a one to six salt to water. Uh, it's a saline solution. We will go into details as to why you use salt in sours. However, a little bit of salt will balance bitterness and enhance sweetness, which allows me to lower the sugar amount in my cocktails while still being in balance. Let's get into it. <laughs> We're gonna start with two ounces of white rum. Hopla! Then three quarter ounce of lime juice, three quarter ounce or 22.5 ml. And then I'm gonna put a scant half ounce of simple syrup. Scant half means right below the line, a little bit under half an ounce, so about 20 ml. Then one dash of orange bitters and two dash of saline solution. Then, as usual, plenty of ice. Don't, don't be cheap. Your small tin should be at least two thirds full. We're gonna give it a proper seal with two good walks. Uh, and then take the shit out of it. Break the seal. And a daiquiri is single strain, meaning I'm only gonna use my Oson strainer. You can actually see a little bit of foam and there is a beautiful layer of eyes of the small shard of ice that happened because of a powerful shake. The color of the drink is opaque. If the shake is too weak, it would be slightly translucid and it would almost start uh, separating. The opacity comes from those little air bubbles in suspension in the liquid that diffract the light through it. There is nothing quite like a freshly shaken daiquiri. The drink is bright, tart, sharp, and super refreshing. It has a unique liveliness to it. Those little shards of ice immediately melt on your tongue, and it is really delightful. The ethyl nature of the rum is completely gone. It is completely smoothed out. That citrus cuts through it beautifully. However, a daiquiri 
has a very short shelf life. It is at its best, right out of the shaker. Every second after that, it kind of loses its magic. It warms up a little bit, so it's not as frappe. And on top of that, those little air bubbles, that aeration is gonna leave the drink quite quickly. With it, you lose some aroma, you lose some of that magic. So my best advice is you better drink it quick. So here we go guys, that was episode 4 of our classic cocktail series. And with this episode, we introduce a new layer to our cocktail, the sour layer. Sourness is not like sweetness or bitterness, it does not take any time to develop on the tongue. We are very sensitive to it and it's immediate. So sourness is going to be the second layer of our cocktail. But today we learn as well how to shake a cocktail and the importance of a powerful shake. So you guys will have to practice a little bit to find what kind of shake works well with you. My best advice is to start by adding some rice inside your tin and tin. Then you can practice with water and ice. And finally, host a daiquiri party and look for that nice frappe feel of a freshly shaken daiquiri. Let me know in the comment down below how it went and don't hesitate, hit the like button and subscribe. Next uh, episode, we're going to introduce a crowd's favorite, the iconic Moscow Mule, and we're going to have some delicious homemade ginger beer. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Zaijian. Au revoir.